This photograph portrays a chain gang in the southern United States around 1903. Chain gangs were a controversial and harsh form of forced labour, often used for convicts or prisoners. Photograph from November 1986 depicts Colonel Muammar Gaddafi amidst the wreckage of the Babazizia Palace in Tripoli, which had been destroyed in a US air raid. It captures a moment of conflict and its aftermath in Libya during that period. Giraffe women during their visit to London in 1935, as they watch a guard at St. James Palace. The giraffe women, known for their distinctive long necks due to the traditional brass coils they wear, drew curiosity from people around the world during their travels. A federal agent conducting an inspection of a truck after detecting the presence of alcohol. The image reflects the Prohibition era in the United States, when the production and sale of alcoholic beverages were banned, leading to the rise of illegal alcohol trade and the efforts to enforce the Prohibition laws. This photograph captures the presentation of a sandblasting helmet developed by William P. Biggs, a safety engineer with the Navy Department. This invention likely aimed to improve safety and protection for workers involved in sandblasting, reflecting advancements in occupational safety during that era. A moment when Pope John Paul II visited a church in Katowice, Poland in 1983. It represents the Pope's role as a unifying figure and his impact on the Catholic faithful, particularly in his native Poland. A pivotal moment during the construction of the Statue of Liberty in 1881. It showcases the intricate work carried out at the Gadget, Gautier and Aimp company workshop in Paris on the left arm and hand of the iconic statue, which would later become a symbol of freedom and democracy in the United States. This photograph, captured by Esther Bubbly in 1943, portrays the everyday travel experiences of individuals boarding a Greyhound bus in a small town between Chicago, Illinois and Cincinnati, Ohio. The historic Astor Theatre in Times Square, New York City in 1947. The theatre, with its prominent location, played a significant role in the city's cultural and entertainment landscape. It is a poignant reminder of the changing architectural and commercial landscape of the area, as it was eventually demolished in 1982 to make room for the Marriott Marquis Hotel. The artistry and meticulous work of sculptors at Madame Tussauds in 1940 as they craft wax heads, a tradition that has been a hallmark of the famous wax museum for centuries. <laughs>